Sneaqua Valley Girls Swimming feeling pretty good, even finding time for the Wildcat Rumble before hosting Naperville Central. Redhawks take to the pool 0-1 in conference. Starting things out with the 200-yard freestyle, Nequa's Ryan Delaney in lane 3 on the bottom of your screen. Her teammate Izzy Harder in lane 5. A close one to the very end, but it's Delaney just outstretching Harder for the win at 158.97. Jumping into the pool is the 50 free, and as expected with the quickest race of the night, it's a dog paddle to the end. Alexa Puccini coming out on top by just 6 tenths of a second giving the Redhawks their only win of the night. Taking a break from the lanes for some diving, and the big question for Central is, who will replace Sydney Ducell? Natalie Stevens making her case with this inward dive pike. She finishes as the top Redhawk taking third overall. The diving night belonged to Nequa's Sammy Carlson. Her forward somersault two twists free scores an 18.5, helping her to a 235.3 total and a top finish overall. Back between the lanes and the 100-yard butterfly, after the first three turns, it's Envy's Kaylee Cannon out in front by two body lengths. She extends that lead in the final 25 yards, winning at 58.83. Checking out the 200 free relay, Redhawks hanging around midway through the race in the middle of your screen, but the Wildcats wouldn't be denied the 1-2 finish. Nequa gets the win at home, improving to 2-0 in conference. Definitely the team atmosphere, like we cheer really for every single meet and I think that really helps us because it makes us go faster and it makes us really excited to swim and compete. Do not be fooled by the final score. Okay, sometimes that's misleading and uh, you know we had good swims on all levels so I have nothing but good things. We're, we're in good shape. 